Hey what's going on guys, Steptesh here back with another very interesting video. So we know that Samsung phones share a pretty nice ecosystem with Windows, allowing for seamless interaction and exchange of data. I had made a whole video on it, check it out, link in the cards. One of the key features of Samsung devices is a feature called Quick Share, which uses Wi-Fi Direct technology for pretty high speed wireless data transfer. It's the same as Android's nearby share, but only for Samsung devices. The main advantage being that you don't have to accept the incoming file prompt when you transfer files between Samsung devices logged into the same Samsung account. The other advantage is, unlike nearby share, quick share is actually available on Windows. But the problem is, quick share is only available on Samsung Windows laptops. Like what? That is actually hilarious in the Windows world because developers will find a way around these types of software locks and that is exactly what has already happened two years ago thanks to developer Obrobrio2000 who has written a script that makes Samsung QuickShare work on all Windows PCs spoofing a registry value that the program checks when opening. So let me show you how you can install Samsung QuickShare on your Windows laptop but before that if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification. Alright guys, let's get going. Before proceeding, just a heads up, it's not guaranteed to work flawlessly on all laptops. It works best with Intel AX200 series of Wi-Fi cards and you may get mixed results with your system. I'm using it with Intel AC9560 Wi-Fi card. Also, definitely make sure to update to the latest Bluetooth driver version of your wireless card. All right. First, go to the GitHub link mentioned in the description and download the batch script and registry file. First, run the registry file and then run the batch script. Now, let's download QuickShare. Get the store link first. Paste it here and search. Download the last file with the extension .msix bundle and install it. Okay, installation is done. Now let's open QuickShare and set it up. Now, every time you boot up your PC or laptop, you have to grant permissions to the script. So let's automate that process. First, go to the task manager and disable the quick share for all script. Then go to the actual location of the file and create a shortcut. Cut the shortcut and paste it in whatever location you feel like. Right click on the shortcut, go to properties advanced and enable run as admin. Okay, now search for task scheduler and follow the steps that I'm doing.
Okay, now every time you boot up your laptop or PC, Quick Share will be ready to be used. Okay, now let's do a small data transfer test. Let's do a 5.6 GB transfer from phone to PC. You can see the speed here in the task manager. The speed is pretty good for wireless transfer and my laptop being over 5 years old with a quite old Wi-Fi adapter, speeds hit up to 500 megabits per second. But I, I think it can be higher depending on your Wi-Fi network. But this speed is not consistent. That's the nature of wireless transfer. It depends upon the congestion on your network. So that was it for this video guys, do let me know if this solution works for you. I think it's pretty convenient and I do intend to use it from time to time. Alright guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.